be around this GT4.R Camaro. You can see that it's based upon the stock parameters of stock body lines and is built by Pratt Miller in Detroit. So as we talked about before, uh, GT4 stock body lines is kind of a rule for the class. So of course carbon fiber nose, which is all on stock profile. This is the stock hood, which is aluminum with a carbon fiber inset, which is comes stock. Steel fender, steel top roof, Lex Anilin windows all around. And of course now we have carbon fiber doors for weight savings, but still steel quarter panels and the stock trunk lid as well, which is heavily modified to, to accept the wing. And we'll show you that right here. Right here. This is a fully adjustable rear wing, which is integrated into the stock deck lid. Since we got the trunk lid open here, you can see the fuel safe fuel cell, about 22 gallons. If you look in this window here, you can see where the quick fill goes for doing pit stops. In the front wheel, you can see the Brembo six piston caliper and rotor assembly. And in the back, it utilizes the stock Brembo ZL1 rear caliper with a two-piece rotor. The Camaro utilizes this Olean's TTX two-way adjustable damper front and rear. This is the connection for the air jacks. Exchangeable from the right side of the car to the left side of the car, depending on which way you're coming into the pit lane. So we'll look at the inside of the car now. Uh, really nice carbon fiber race tech seat. Tilt and floor mounted pedals. Here you can see the interior of the cockpit with the C187 color dash from Motec, rear view camera. So along with the telescoping and tilt wheel system, this steering wheel from Pratt Miller, of course you can see the paddle shifts on the back. Then on the front of it, you can see where the radio button is, drink button, pit lane speed, flashing your headlights for traffic, uh, firing up the engine, stopping the engine, left and right blinkers for the car. Uh, neutral for the gearbox, reverse for the gearbox, alarm is for resetting the dash, line lock is inoperative in this car. And you can see that the traction control and the dimmer switches for the dash are all adjustable on the fly by the driver. And you can see that this one goes to 11. Talking electronics in this car, on the center console of the dash reachable by the driver is the, of course the master switch, uh, start button if the steering wheel fails. Uh, this one here is the Bosch ABS racing system which is, has a 12 adjustable setting to it, uh, some rain settings and some other settings for dry, and then of course the brake bias switch is right here. Using the page button here on the console, you can switch from page to page on the dashboard, which can show you all sorts of different settings and readings as the car is running and sitting static. You can also reprogram the dashboard and arrange it in any way you want it. Cars run off a of Bosch MS 6.4 ECU for all your data logging and everything else. So let's talk about drivetrain. This GT4R comes with an LT1 built by GM at GM Propulsion, which is backed up by an X-Track six-speed sequential, which is paddle shift on the steering wheel, and also by